Hi, this is Mimki, and this is where I like to come to help raise up my vibrations uh, with the help of Pythagoras here, who, as you well know, was a Greek philosopher and mathematician. Uh, he taught that music should never be seen as a form of entertainment, but rather it's an expression of harmony and the divine principle that brings order to chaos. Uh, he also taught his students that focusing on pure, mathematically precise tones would help to calm and illuminate the mind. Uh, I love Pythagoras and his teachings. I definitely recommend anyone look into his work. Uh, I think he's just intrigued humanity ever since he discovered what he called the music of the spheres. And just the way he saw the world through mathematic, mathematic precision is just amazing. And this right here is a Pythagorean tone generator. Uh, for musicians out there, you will notice that, like if I plugged in my keyboard, you will notice that the, the notes are going to are gonna still somewhat match up to the notes on a keyboard or... But uh, just like symphonies have been altering their their own uh, tunings over the years, if you're a if you're a, a musician, you're going to notice a slight difference in the the tones. Uh, just the tones you're getting, they're so clean and precise on here. Uh, good example is I love to play green sleeves on the piano, but um, obviously you play it on here, you're going to get a slight difference. Uh, there's no F sharp, so but. Um, that's not a good example because that's not really what this is made for. This is made for each focusing on your chakras. Uh, this is made for so many different things. I mean, you can play chords, you can play, uh, you can play scales. Uh, this up here is going to be C for the aura chakra. This is going to be B, A the third eye chakra. G, it's going to be F the heart. E solar. D sacral, and then low C is the root. So uh, this is matching up to your chakra, so let me go ahead and play the perfect fifth because that's an awesome tone right here. That's always a good greeting to start with, the, the perfect fifth. Uh, this is another really... Now keep in mind, if you could see the waveforms that these are creating, like with the right type of electronics, you would get really precise, uh, you would see the forms that they create, and it's just amazing, they're really precise forms, they're not just chaotic forms. So you're really getting uh, an intense value from this, because sitting in front of it, I mean, I can only imagine how it sounds where you are, but sitting in front of this, the vibrations are just so rich and so thick, I, I love it, because the people that I've let play, play this, I never tell them what it is exactly, but... Um, you know, I let them play on it and after a couple minutes they always kind of stop and it's the same every time You know, they'll, they'll look over their shoulder at me and they'll say like wow, I feel different You know, I feel weird inside what's going on, you know, and they really I just have to laugh because they don't know what this is So it's not a xylophone. They're just thinking it's an instrument But when I, I kind of guide the, the notes I'm trying to get them to play and then you know You get them to play some ascension scales and stuff and it's just there's no way they're not gonna feel it You know just being in front of this. This is another one of my favorites. Now, of course, if you know me, then you know I'm going to say that, uh, you know, to keep in mind, you don't really need all of this to raise up your vibrations. Uh, intoning sacred vowels, um, obviously Aum and others, uh, are really the ideal way of raising up your vibrations because they just vibrate your pineal gland. They're, they're coming from the inside of you. Uh, obviously, M is a very vibrational force, so you want to definitely uh, intone vowels, but these don't hurt. I mean neutral breathing things like that really get your mind just into an altered state of being really quick and this these are definitely helpful tools for that um, these are the, the, the Tibetan chimes I don't know if you can hear this if somebody tunes a guitar if you know how to tune a guitar you'll probably notice this more than others um, this is not the ideal way to really have these like a shaman or a healer or like my doctor when he uses these um, the ideal way is to kind of you want to rotate them, especially when somebody's when you're going to use them around your head 
or over and around someone's head and they're really loud, you don't want to just hit them straight like that. You, you kind of want to do the swinging, the spiral motion because if you notice, like when, when you hit it, I, I like to do this because I'm using my generator and I like to be able to reach over, but this is not the ideal position because you hear that? Like these vibrations right here, they're close. So they're going to collide a little bit and they're not going to run parallel, you know, and in, in complete perfectly in tune. They're going to kind of cross and you're going to hear the na 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 so it, it's not an ideal situ uh, situation right here, but I do like having it because I can just kind of with one hand reach over when I'm doing uh, my Pythagorean tone generator and I can play these as well. So I'm going to do a perfect fifth for you again. Obviously another helpful tool is a Tibetan singing bowl. This one I really like because you're going to feel the vibrations going up your hand and you're right over it when you're doing it so and they build up rather quickly so you really feel them kind of coming at you. I'll even switch hands with playing this one because the vibrations are so strong, uh, you definitely feel them in your body. So that's a Tibetan bowl is awesome as well. Uh, if you get certain bowls, you can put the water in there and you see the water kind of jumping. This one has a kind of a bell lip, so I don't really get that effect out of that one. But with other ones where you don't have so much curve at the top, uh, you do this and obviously with the more straight tops and obviously you're going to get the water to dance. So these are really awesome tools to use in helping to raise up your vibrations, but this is just invaluable, a Pythagorean tone generator. Now obviously there's different ways to use this. You can use two mallets, you can play chords, uh, you can play scales, you can, let's say you have a headache and you have something you want to work on like within yourself, you have a, a sore back or you have a certain something that's aggravating you. Um, what you want to do is obviously you have to get your mind involved, you want to focus on what your, your issue is and you want to kind of play this. It's a little aggravating at first but it's a discord. So if it's a sore part of my body, I'll be focusing on that right now as I'm hitting the discord. And I do that about three times to kind of unite that to whatever you know issue you might be dealing with. And then after the third one, and you keep focusing on that part of the body, and now you raise it up. So this is an awesome healing tool as well. I know people, they, they're always asking me if, you know, if they're doing a Reiki session, they would love to have this played next to them while they're doing Reiki. So this has a lot of value to it. It's just something you can do by yourself. It's something you can do with others. It's, you can let people play it and just watch their reaction because they will react to this. The vibrations are undeniable. They're so strong when you're in front of one of these. So I definitely recommend that you look into getting one of these. Um, I just, I've loved this ever since I got it. I love playing it every day just to kind of help me with my states of mind and states of being. You can just jump from the mundane everyday reality into this higher state of thinking and higher state of reality or, or being, I should say, uh, with the help of these tones. It's just, they're so amazing. All right, thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions or you'd like to know more, you can catch me at 7wisdom at yahoo.com. And you can always find my videos on my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching and I will leave you with the perfect fit and then my favorite ascending scale.